Yo, 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 we live on location, Los Angeles, California. Me and the blackest one here, we here with a day <laughs> one, bro. We here with our OG, even though he the same Low, age man. as us. Shut we came it. through, we got L. Dot Joseph, Lucky <laughs> Lefty, the know, main man. man. It's our we OG, outside. man. We, we outside. outside, we here. Facts. <laughs> NBA world champ, Lamar Odom. Straight up. You know, you know what you mean to us, bro. You know, you know. Really know. No, that's all up. We appreciate you being on the show, bro. All up, my guy. Yeah, straight straight up. Up. my rooks. Yeah. <laughs> straight up, straight up. When you first got to the NBA, who was the first person to bust your ass? The first person to bust my ass. When I first got to the NBA? Yeah. Kevin Garnett. 99, 2000, ticket. Garnett. Yeah, it, it, it was... Cause I, I, he was like the player I, at that time uh, that I looked up to the most. Yeah. But growing up, it was Magic Johnson. Right. But at that time, it was it was KG. Motherfucker was so intense. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And he was big. Yeah. He was real big. It's like if you ain't have no heart, his intensity could is like could be Break a form you. of intimidation. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you know, I was still trying to do my thing, go at him, but. He was the first person. Was like, damn, I couldn't. It's hard to like. And that was when stop he, him and Dirk too. Dirk, yeah, nasty. Dirk was nasty. Dirk busted a lot of dudes' ass. <laughs> not, a, not a lot of dribbles. Yeah, so nah. Just Straight work. Both of them got that that high point released. It's tough to deal yeah, with. They like seven one. Yeah, <laughs> both for footers. Southside, Southside Jamaica, Jamaica Queens. Queens right? yeah. I mean, that's where I grew up. Straight up, facts. Tell us about Southside. You growing up with like Ron and. And yeah, I mean, you know, it was real Shemequa. for me, you know, the hood, you know, but basketball was, uh, you know, was a way out of it. You know what I'm saying? You go to the park, see all the crack valves on the floor, um, the crack addicts, you feel me? And um, I was just focused on the hoops. Feel yeah. me? My mom's passed away when I was 12 years old. So it was just hoops and my grandmother. Yeah. At you what age I mean? did you meet like Ron Ron and Shamiqua and all of them? I was like, when I first met Ron, I was like 12. Or he was playing for a team called Brooklyn Queens Express. Mm. It's crazy because we was like, you know, Ron is like, he's a different type of dude. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? We was kind of like friends, but always rivals. Yeah. Right? You know what I mean? He's the type of dude you don't really know. <laughs> if he like you or not, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you don't even know how to read him, you know what I mean? Yeah. But um, I love Ron, you know, like a brother. When Shamika showed up, was she already just nice when you met her? Yeah. She used to hoop with us. No, I know that. In high school. Word. She was always nice. I always liked her game. She had like an all-around game. Right. People used to say that I was like the... Um, the woman version of Shamika, because how I play, you know, handle the ball, mm -hmm. shoot, try to make people better. Had an eye IQ. What made you choose Christ the King out of all the schools that you could have chose? Oh, it's crazy, because I remember the, the first time I ever um, visited Christ the King, I was playing in a, in a tournament, and you had to, to go to Christ the King to get down there, you got to ride down like this, got to ride down a hill. Mm -hmm. And it just always had like this um, collegiate feeling to it. it always fe it felt like a university. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then you go in there, you go into the gym, you see all the players that they had and shit on the wall. Right. Khaled Reeves, people I knew, you know what I mm -hmm. mean? Jason Williams, um, Derek Phelps, dudes that was nice and that had a name in New York City. I was like, it's easy fit. So they had and they had girls. <laughs> you know what I mean? All a lot of the um, Catholic schools in all New York City is all boys. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm. So you know, once they had you know they had girls and stuff like that, and they was nice. And they was you nice. You know what I mean? It was like you know, it was a perfect fit for me. At, at what point did you start playing for uh, for Riverside with Riverside um, with, with Elton E. Bark and all of them? I started playing for them in like um, eighth and ninth grade. Okay, That's when so I you first met Eric Barkley. Yeah. That's when I first met Eric Barkley. And um and then Eric Barkley wound up going to Christ the King too. And I met Elton Brand. I met Elton Brand my sophomore year. We played for a team 
um, an AAU team. They was out of um, upstate New York. Mm-hmm. And we went to um, a tournament, playing this basketball tournament in France. Dang. In Nantes, in Nantes, France it was. I remember the first day we was in the, we was in the gym, I was like talking to one of the coaches. I was like, yo, you smell that? <laughs> yeah. Yo, you smell that? And he was like, yo. He was like, in this part of France, he was like, the people, I don't think they believe in deodorant and all that. Yeah. So just imagine the whole gym was like, was woofing. With heads. No, no disrespect to none of them. With y'all high school squad, like y'all AU and all that, like who was some of the, the bigger name? Did y'all run the city? Did y'all like run the scene on AU? Like, was Riverside it Riverside Church? Mm hmm. Yeah, how you was gonna beat me, Elton, Eric Barkley, Ron Artest, <laughs> Alan, Speedy Alan Griffin, time? Speedy Claxton, Speedy Claxton, okay, and all the other players in the city that we had. So y'all, y'all was going tournament, 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 and winning. Yeah, every tournament. Who would the, who would be who was y'all biggest comp? Like anybody of note, or y'all just had a? Everybody was scared. It was like it was like you know how like UNLV, was just like just, just pick him up, kick him up, kick him up, pick him up, kick him out. Hmm. You know what I mean? At what point, like, did you develop the handle that you got? Like, for you to be, was you always, like, one of the taller kids or, like, when? I mean, I was always one of the taller kids, but handling the ball and all of that, that was just, like, a gift from God. And then, you know, where we come from in New York. That's what y'all do. Yeah, your handle is everything. That's the only way you're going to be able to stay so on like, the court. At, at what point did you start to see, like, though, like, yo, even though I'm one of the taller kids, like, I'm different because I'm nice with the handle like this. Like, when did that start becoming, like, probably when apparent? I, probably when I was, like, 10. You know what I mean? And I remember I was playing in um 17 and under tournament. And I was, I was like, 5'10 when I was 10. Mm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's still and yeah, and I remember I'm telling the coach like, "Yo, I'm the point. I'm playing the point guard. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I don't give a fuck. Like I don't give a fuck what what plays you running or whatever we doing. Even though you was the biggest kid, you was telling one me of the you biggest to run kids. The rock. I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm playing the point guard, and I always had confidence with the rock and my handle. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like I know I could just shift you and and to go straight. I'm I'm, I'm gonna make you go side to side for me to go straight. And I always grew up playing like that. When you found out you was a McDonald's All American, how was that for you? I mean, that was it was that was good. But you know, these are the questions that y'all asking me is easy for me to answer because, like, I, I'm you know I'm a humble dude. Yeah. But these these are big shit. Like manifestations that I that that I knew. Yeah. You know what I mean? Was gonna happen. Um. You know, and they did. Like McDonald's, you know, even having David Stern call my name. Yeah. Like, I've already seen that happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? I remember first meeting you at ABCD camp, right? Mm Mm-hmm. So, you know, this was my first big, big camp. This was when I'm going for my freshman, my sophomore year. Mm Mm-hmm. And, you know, you get that they got all of this stuff, the rankings and all this stuff. Like, man, you, you know, I done seen everything. So I'm like, you know me, I'm a, I'm a gamer. I find a little player's lines. I go straight to the game system. Yeah. This dude sitting here playing the game, talking <laughs> noise to everybody. Now, I'm not knowing at the time that, like, this is, you know, Lamar, Lamar Odom, the number one player in America and all this <laughs> shit, right? Yeah. So I'm chilling. We playing, going back and forth. So then, you know, the next day we get there to the thing and everybody – you know, they got some, they brought Dickie V in and he talking to everybody and mm. the, before you get in there, he's calling different names out and he like, yeah, and the Lamar Dickie blew, if it, Dickie V, he made it hot for me. What? He blew the what? whole spot up. <laughs> Everybody's not gonna be like a Lamar Odom, exactly, baby. Exactly, exactly. I'm like, damn, <laughs> Dick, like you gonna have all these dudes coming Bro, at but, my head. But yeah. that was crazy to me because I'm sitting there up, like, man. damn, like this Jermaine. dude, was a, he the dude, but like he was just chilling in the lounge, cool as, like, no, I mean, cool as a fan, just vibing with whoever we, we just in there kicking it, and you know, back in then, it's like, them dudes kind of got a mystique, they be over here, they doing that, like, he was just chilling, you remember that? Yeah, they be acting, you know, I mean, especially at that time, because if you was a, you know, one, two player, people thought that you was going to the NBA. Yeah. Do you know how the whole AAU, special treatment, you know what I'm saying? So, I seen that with a lot of players before, I was just always, Remain myself, man. Yeah, lay back. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. 
even to this day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even through, you know, playing for the Lakers. Yeah. I'm just a normal dude. Yeah. Straight up. You know what I mean? How did you end up like deciding like, all right, I'm gonna go to Rhode Island? They said I cheated on my SAT test. Right, I remember because you were supposed you had committed to UNLV. UNLV, that's what mm -hmm. it was first. Yeah, they caught me cheating on my test, bro. They caught you cheating? Yeah, you know, NCAA, they you know, they got like forensic files, they got they check the handwriting and all that shit. <laughs> Damn, for real? <laughs> yeah. Then they um <laughs> then you know, they compared the dude to his score to my my grade point average. Yeah. It didn't really add up. Yeah. And I had to sit out one year. Mm. That's why we got to be freshmen together. Mm hmm oh. I had to sit out one year and I sat out. How did Rhode Island come into play? Jim Harrick, because I was going to go to UCLA. That's right. He got, he he got fired. That's right. He got fired on my birthday mm -hmm. the year before. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Word up. He got fired on my birthday the year before. So I'm like, by that time, I ain't really trust too many people, mm -hmm. yeah. you know what I'm saying? And he had like a, you know, uh, down to earth mentality, of the way he looked at life, you feel me? I done been through the ringer. Yeah. So I wanted to go somewhere where I could trust somebody. Yeah. Catino was there, when you played with Catino, right? Yeah, I slept on the same, slept on the same bed as in my first couple of nights in Rhode Island. Just Cause I was, when I went there, it was like, I was, because of all the NCAA a yeah. shit and all that, I had to like, Sneak low, on campus, like lay low, you know what I mean? Yeah. And How nice was Catino when you first seen him? Catino was nice. Yeah, you know, it's so crazy. We at Rhode Island. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's not like a big school. Right. Yeah. You yeah, feel I mean, me? That no, shit and I'm like, damn, he one of them ones. <laughs> and up. what's so crazy is that they had another player that was there. That Wheeler. Was Tyson Wheeler. Wheeler. Tyson, Tyson Wheeler. Wheeler. <laughs> he was supposed yeah. to be nice. Yeah. It was, he was supposed to be the player of the year. Yeah. That year. But Coach Harrick came in and like tweaked the offense to where it was like big guard oriented, where the guard passed it to the wing. Yeah. He cut to the post. Oh. Perfect for Cat. Catino yeah. killing that. He didn't play shit. out of that. You feel what I'm saying? He was. I was like, he one of them ones. <laughs> we used to go at it. Yeah. In practice. Go at it. No, the summer before, you hear tell you big guards, big guards. <laughs> Big guards. We be going at it at um and pick up basketball and all of that. Them were some good dudes too down there. I want to ask you about your draft process, cause like, did you do a lot of workouts or did you just do? You know, I always like to refer to D D Miles. He did the you know steak dinners and a yeah. couple one or two workouts. Like, how did yours go? <laughs> well, I worked out for Miami Heat. Mm. Mm. So they knew. Pat always know. Pat always be on some shit. That's why he wound up getting you later on, huh? Yeah, because yeah. he knew. Thought he was going to intimidate me. <laughs> <laughs> he sent you in the room with the light on him in the Godfather room. For the workout, they put garbage can on each corner. Mm -hmm. Each corner of the workout. Yeah. I'm like, stop putting garbage cans in the corner for. <laughs> it's like, you're going to need them. They say you gonna throw up. Yes. Uh huh. Like, no, I'm not gonna throw up. Did you throw up? Nah. <laughs> but they. But was that your toughest workout? No, nah, I mean at that point of the workouts, and I'm I'm predicted to be number one, number two, and I'm a forward guard, so I'm working out really by myself. Mm -hmm. So none of the workouts is really tough. This shit I've been doing, spot shooting, life. dribbling the ball. But I would tell you that I was so nervous. My Vancouver workout. I'm working out from Vancouver. Mm. Boom, shooting the ball, shooting the shot of it. Boom, one, two, three. I'm like, hold up. He threw Four. up. Boy, I had to give it up. Call 1 800 Five. Earl. In Vancouver. Threw up right there. Kept going though. <laughs> now nah, we don't even gotta clean it up. Let's not even clean it up. Leave it there. <laughs> Kept the geezer going. Like, y'all gonna pick me. Uh, oh, kept so it going. What pick they had? Hell yeah, I would have won. They had the second pick. So I'm like, y'all know y'all gonna pick me. Like, yeah, know gonna pick me. Steve and Steve's like, yo, I'm not going. So I'm like, I know y'all gonna pick me. Like you, you ready to go? And they took him. 
That's I was like, I go number two to Vancouver. Fuck I don't that. think I don't, I don't know, know that everybody knew that. I'm doing right here. <laughs> look, you crazy? No, look, that's why I won number three, bro. <laughs> so I'm my like, what? I'm, I'm going, going to Vancouver. Going. I thought it was a rap. Yeah, that's, they gonna see, pick Steve Francis. These teams be screwing up, bro. Like they passed on L Boogie, who want to be there and pick somebody who forced his way out, and then yeah. like you just stuck. Then I knew I wasn't gonna go to um, Chicago because mm -hmm. I blew that interview. Mm. I saw acting like a dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, because Kraus, this he's a dude. He's he's passed away, right? Yeah. God bless his soul, but he he was the first person to tell me my father had. Was HIV positive? I'm like, what? You lying. Word. So he's like, Lamar, you know, he talks. Does it bother you to when you're on the court? Yeah, that's how you saw. But your father's HIV positive. You so wait a minute, you found out yeah, that from I'm him? Like, like, so he didn't went and dug it, dug that up and knew something. You ain't. You know they know all about the shit about. I him. know that. Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like I ain't never know that. We at the dinner table. I don't really tell nobody that. So we at the dinner table, and I'm like. I'm just like, he talking, I'm like, I'm like looking at him like he's a fucking asshole. Like, right. But. You went to the green room, right? Yeah. To the draft? Yeah. How was it when, when Stern called your name and you walked across and shook up? Like, what I was knew that? that? They were, I mean, it's crazy, because. Um, because you watched drafts before you. you all I of us did. Like, yeah, yeah, all all like where's your mental at when yeah. you, the name get called it's again? Like, we know we got like that however 20, 30 foot walk up the ramp and you seeing him there like, what what was going I'm through like, your yeah, mind? Don't fall. Right. Don't fall man. walking yeah, up yeah, this cool. Don't fall. Don't <laughs> fall. <laughs> Trying to get my mic walk ready. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Trying to get my jaw and swag ready. <laughs> it's crazy, because I remember when we was at a table like this, Right. Yeah. My grandmother's sitting there, and I'm kissing everybody in my family. And uh, she the last one. She said, come here, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at me like proud as ever. Right. Yeah. Uh, she looked me right in my face. I bent down. She said, don't get these shit. <laughs> I'm like, all right, ma. And she was talking about your family. There's every, uh, everybody. Whoever. Everybody. She was born in 1923. She like, mm. whatever. Feel me? She done seen it all. So I'm pretty sure she could get the energy from her young boy about to make a million dollars now. Right, she could yeah. feed the See, everybody changing without even knowing that they change. Right. Uh, so, um, or, that's what she left me with. Do you remember uh, when we came? Like, uh, you remember when we, we came the, the second year? You remember when we came to the Clippers, how? <laughs> how it changed. How it changed from the year before, because, like, Hell yeah, I was you was playing, there the year before. I was, playing with, I was playing with dudes that they were in the NBA, yeah, but they didn't love the hoop. Yeah. When y'all came, that was fresh energy, and y'all loved change. the hoop. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And I seen that from that summertime. We was playing when we came pickups down. and all of that. You yeah. know what I mean? And they was intense and fun. You know what I mean? I was like, I'm gonna have fun rocking out with these dudes. You know what I mean? That was the craziest thing, cause we was the youngest, like you said. We, we was, was the youngest team in we was yo, And we was your rooks, and you, me and you the same age. And me, you I'm and Corey the same <laughs> age. Facts, you know what I mean? Like, and we was his rooks, and it was like, he had. I'm just a year in off of experience, but yep. yeah. maturity level, I probably was, Younger, younger than y'all. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Um, but for real, I mean, yeah, I was, I just knew it was on. Yeah, nah, straight up. You I just remember saying? you cuffing us. You know what I'm saying, showing us the ropes, this, that, and the third. But like you said, from the jump, that was the one thing that we all identified. Like when we got in that gym, it was, it was dog eat dog. We was going at it. It didn't matter what nothing. lineups was yeah, for the uh, days. Uh -uh. It was always a good just bump. Pick the team. Yeah. yeah, and we was gonna bump. Yeah. We ain't care if, who, if you ain't like somebody or you ain't really get along with them the most, and for them two, three, four hours, however we was going to the gym. And, and, and then gonna looking back on it right now, one of the best things they did from your first year to our year was change them damn jerseys. The boy. uniforms, yeah. Our jerseys were sick. Yeah. We, 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 hey, well, we, had the, we had the top selling jerseys and all yeah, that. Yeah, Got to. Our jerseys and all in the videos. Yeah. You know yeah. I don't know if it was the, because it was um, the colors, the schemes, the team, people identify with our team. It was like hip hop's team. Then we did yeah, the it was slam a hip -hop cover type and all team. that. Yeah, you remember the slam cover? Yeah, it was on. Man. We changed the jerseys and it stuff. It was on. It was on after that. 
What you think how iconic it is now and when they tried to redo us with Trail now, how it is? Like, did you think that like, you know, us switching jersey and I had the do-rag on well, I'm the a, First of all, they, they, couldn't, be... they couldn't duplicate that because they wasn't there when it was yeah, done. Yeah. But did you think it would be so iconic? Like what, that like, slam cover that we did? Yeah. Hell no. <laughs> I knew the look was going to be dope. Yeah. To have us wear the, each other's jerseys mm -hmm. and then flip it backwards. So that was like the hip hop lefty creative yeah. mind that I was thinking. Hell no, I didn't think it was going to be a t shirt. You know, the other joint uh, that. You feel what I'm saying? Hell no, I didn't think it was going to be Slam's one of their best covers. Yeah. Nah, that, that's definitely like. One of them ones. I need to and get that's that, why I need they to get that t-shirts. That that's why. But that's why. I mean, but the fact that it was so iconic. That's why they did the recreation because they wanted to pay homage to yeah. that, and that's what made it super dope. I get that, but that's like. I feel America you. Too. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel you. You feel, feel me? You. Like, thank you for the compliment, but. You ain't really the other hit. joint that was dope is remember we did the uh we all did the death row pictures for the ESPN and the next. Remember that? Me, you, Keon. I had Kim, that Corey. I had that painting, my nigga. Yeah. I lost yeah. it in my storage. Yeah. I got that up in my office right this, now. You got the black got the black, on. yeah. Y'all yeah. got on black yeah. we like yeah. kind of like this dim cut light with the shadows and so I still I got that picture up in my office right now. Like that joint right there. That's dope. To be the young boys that we was, they was you could tell what it was rare. Cause think about it, we did we had the show, we had to eat, we 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 did reality TV before they even was even calling it that. Remember we did the LA sidelines hoops joint where they was following us for like the whole months. Yeah, we did the one joint too that we shot it at the um in Santa Monica too. I forgot the name of that. That show. was the same that for the thing. show. Yeah, it was that called was, the show. Yeah, the, it was uh, L.A. It was called L.A. Sidelines Hoop. So they was following us all over the place. We yeah. jumping. He broke his chain, jumping the gate, going to the I remember Westchester how, I game. Remember how, I remember how that started, though. Yeah, so it was like we we was we was heavy out there out here, young boys. Talk about this though. I feel like our alley hoop is the best alley I was, hoop I was, ever. I was thinking about that. I, I was, ever. I was thinking about that. Um, word them up when I put my clothes on. <laughs> I was like, I think if if it would have been two Lakers that threw that alley oop, that yeah. should be getting plastered all over. Right. NBA everything. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? At shout the time, it was just Rooks, like, man. yeah, shout out to Sean Rose. Yeah, he, he was the best at the touchdown pass. He used to tell us get missing off the free throw. Oh, he yeah. did so many free dunks and points off that. And that pass was just off, just off instinct. Yeah. Like, we ain't go through that. We ain't <laughs> like, you know what yeah. I mean? Just like, boom, oh shit, D Miles might be over there, boom. Because I knew you. Hit they him. was like, Do you, how you know he was going to throw that? I yeah. said, man, because I just know him. He was going to throw some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, that. That, that was like one of my, like, from, like, I think, that, like, funnest plays that I've ever, ever been involved with. Yeah. In my NBA career, though. Yeah. In my basketball career. Yeah. I've heard him talk about it before, but do you remember where you were when you started to see what was going on with that commercial y'all did when y'all was doing the handles and how iconic that Kurt commercial oh, became? Hold on, hold on. Do you remember the story of how I got in the commercial? Nah. Remember. How I got in the commercial, I was at the crib just chilling. Mm -hmm. And you called me, was like, yeah, what you doing? I was like, nothing. He was like, yeah, come up here and do this Nike commercial with me. And I'm like, nah, I don't think I can do it because I'm with Jordan. So I called my people. They called uh they called and they said it's okay for me to do the Nike commercial. Yeah, that's crazy. So I pulled up and me and you did the Nike commercial. That's crazy. With the shit and that shit turned Obviously to a classic. You got no yeah. clue it's going to be that iconic but like, I didn't even supposed to be in it. You uh, called me to get in. It. Yeah. But did you feel like when you was doing it that it was like a dope commercial just in general not I not thinking I it was going to be I didn't really know like where they even was really like going, going with it cuz yeah. it was like just y'all just standing there by yourself when you yeah, doing well, you did, had, they, did they have music playing They didn't have they had music playing but they didn't have that music playing like the the when sneaker skirt and all that stuff. Yeah. They didn't have that plan, but they had music playing because we was dancing and yeah, but that just goes dunking to show you, and like, doing all the shit. The synergy that I guess we just had as a team Word. because you could when you look at it, you can see, you can feel like it's <laughs> like we going to the, yeah. to the beat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Straight up. For real. No, that was one of the most iconic commercials, dog. That thing was crazy. Yeah, you caught me like you called me That's to get crazy. in that commercial. I don't remember that shit though, like that. That wasn't even po I wasn't even supposed to be in that one. I appreciate them because they still right. send me that to this day. Like yeah. I see that all the time around. 
Like, Send me a check. <laughs> <laughs> Did you even see it? Like, cause I know like, you know, like we always talk about you one of the most humble dudes, you know what I'm saying? We play with and stuff like that. Did you see yourself like as the leader of our team when we was playing at that time? It's crazy that you said that though, because I wish I would have did things a lot different, but I was- You was young. You was I, all right. I didn't know, you <laughs> yeah. know what I'm saying? We all didn't I didn't know. really understood the power uh -huh. that I had, but you know, looking back now, I feel yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Because now I would've been like, yo, let's let's go to the gym. Yeah. If yeah. we ain't doing nothing, let's go back to the gym. Let's go over these plays again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It would've been nothing to do that. Because I would go, really should have been the playoffs. You know, yeah. but I didn't learn, I didn't, I didn't learn, from, I didn't have nobody to learn from. Yeah. You know you what I mean? Like, like my, the people that was, that I learned from were Maurice Taylor, who was a hell of a player. Yeah. Derek Anderson. The A. Who was a hell of a player. Yeah. But. They didn't know the game either though. <laughs> they wanted to get the fuck out of there. Yeah. yeah. You know Everybody won because they wanted to get money. So they wasn't really practicing what we know to be good NBA habits. Yeah. So I didn't really have nothing to pass Go down by. to y'all. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I feel like when you went to Miami, like that. That's when that I learned changed, it. Like that was when it like it clicked for if you. I like, if, if I would have had them, if y'all would have had Odom, Miami Odom, right. we would have made it to the playoffs every year. Straight up. Right. But we was, like the second year, we was two games right out there. the playoffs. Feel me? Because the Miami Odom would have knew to put the weed down. Yeah. I would have been on the court a lot more. You yeah, feel what I'm saying? Play that ball. Ball. You feel what I'm saying? Nah. Tell me how that culture shock was it for yeah. you coming from, you know, we we in fucking Southwest LA College, and then you go to like. But it let you know I'm a real one. You feel what I'm saying? So I was able to flip the switch like that. Right. Yeah. And Pat. I looked up to him. He was a, the head coach for the Lakers. That's Magic Johnson's coach. That's right. how I look at him. Straight up. Mm -hmm. So he told me what I needed to do. He was like, yo, I'm going to give you this money. Said, I need you to move your family down here. Yeah. So I right, bring my girl and my kids down there. And for the first, you know, month of working out, you remember, y'all remember how skinny I was? Yeah. Right? I got to like 250. Yeah. Up in Miami. Yeah. You feel me? So my whole Wayne frame of mind was like defense, run, yeah. rebound. Yeah. yeah. It went from fuck shaking them and all of that. Defense, run, rebound. You played with a young D Wade. How was D Wade down there when you played with him? Yeah. It's so crazy because I remember I remember, yeah, NC NC um Karan Butler. Yeah. When he was a dog. Yeah. I remember calling home about D Wade. I'm like, yo. Yeah, we got one. <laughs> yeah. Y'all yeah. yeah, remember that dude that we seen get that triple double? Up. He liked that. Tell yeah. me, but listen, this is the part I love to talk about because you remember JP, Jason Powell always talk about mm -hmm. it. Whenever he sees something we be together, he starts talking, he's like, man, Q is crazy. Because I remember you in the locker room, coming in the training room, we watching the NCAA games, and I'm telling y'all like, yo, this, he next. Yeah. This my, this yeah. my, this yeah. my little won. young fella, he about to go crazy. I was like, he Nobody is- Nobody knew that crazy though. Too big for the point and like too quick for and strong for a two. He gonna fuck him up. <laughs> and he in the Hall of Fame. And he in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I mean, we've been around so many, you know, basketball players through AAU, yeah. high school. Yeah. yeah. Um, NBA. Yeah. It don't really take us a lot, a long time to even really see a player. And we evaluating them and not even really even thinking about it like that. Yeah. Where was your mind at when y'all in that playoff series and you see him hit hit boom BD with the shoulder and game time and like what like like what like what and then you know like that take me through that whole you in the game take me through that I mean, it's no it's so crazy because I thought Stan was gonna call a play for me right? <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying <laughs> right because he a but, rookie like, yeah, you I'm, yeah I'm like I'm the my own I got three years in the league I'm like. But I mean, you know, we we it's heat, so you know it's family. It's good, yeah. yeah. And everything is family. So I'm like, okay, gave the D Wade. He called the perfect play. Mm hmm. And he scored. Got to his minutes. Got to his move. Shook him. Crossover. Tear drop. Tear drop. Game over. Game over. But D Wade is. I mean, I've seen him. You seen him playing in in, in the playoffs and like come through, come through, come through. Mm -hmm. You know, like some players got that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We was at the Hall of Fame just this, whatever that was, last weekend. I told him, I say, bro, listen, I say, you know, 
I, I'm, you know, I'm super proud. I say, but he was boy, against Dallas. We and all lying. That. Like, if, yeah. we, if anybody say we saw this coming anyway, like not this, not not to this level, yeah. not to have like, bro, it's Michael Kobe then him. Yeah, two guards in the history of the league. But I think that's because of his, um, the way he carries himself. All of that off the court. All of that. You know what I mean? It's even in the second part of his life. I mean, got a beautiful wife, you know, tremendous celebrity, but I still see Rook. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, you always gonna see that. Yeah, yeah. So that's good. To, that's good to see. That's good to know. Mm-hmm. When you found out you were finna be a Laker and go back to L.A., but Lakers was the only te- Lakers. I was the only because I, I had to agree to the trade. Yeah. Oh, so you had to agree to that trade yeah, with Shaq and yeah, all that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then it would have had a little seven million dollar kicker. Pat threw me seven kicker. million dollars. You know, to trade me. Yeah. I'm like, it's for Shaq. Then I go oh, back gotta, to yeah, yeah, I go back to be with Bean. You know what I'm saying? Get to go I, play I knew him when, since uh, we were sixteen. Yeah. Through AAU and all that. So You hollered at him a little bit before you made your decision to go to Rhode Island or, or to straight to the league, right? Oh, no, I was I was gonna go straight to the NBA. But did you talk to Kobe yeah, about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that. You just do your research. <laughs> now, listen, man, <laughs> we, 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 we are at this podcast shit. <laughs> We chilled at Arn Tellum's house. Okay, OG Arn. 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 And um, we played one-on-one. I wish I had. But it didn't start off as one-on-one. <laughs> All of y'all just shooting around. Yeah. And then y'all got Then it kind of got like, all right, you know, it's like. Right, what you want to do? Yeah, 20, like 20% speed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what kind of clothes I have on? 50% speed. We had on shorts and all that. Then yeah. 50%. And then it turned out like, I wish I wish I had, somebody had to tape that shit. Yeah. But. Cause we was going at it, we was going at it. But Kobe, I mean, the you know, teammate, easy to learn from. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like if you ain't learn from him, then, then you were stupid. Yeah, you know what I mean. You wasn't really about that life. And crazy, incredible spirit. You know, I heard him say on the. Bust that he was better than Mike. <laughs> right. I'm like you, Allen. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Yeah. But that came out his mouth, so you you know Mentally. where his drive. Like you know, like you just you know what I mean? Yeah. Different type of dude. He made you better. Yeah. Just to be around him, I, and it was so crazy because coming here it just made me think of our relationship. I was like, damn. How far we I, go back? I wish I played one on one with him more mm-hmm. after yeah. practice. You know what I'm saying? Right. Wish I helped picked, each other out more. Yeah, I wish I was able to just, you know, pick We didn't up. know we was police our own. Yeah. <laughs> Let me I ask you this. That. How was it for you to comprehend that I'ma come off the bench and that's how this can work? Cause you low, like yeah, but, I always tell you know what though? I, it's like it's so funny, like like cause people be like, yo, Lamar, you had a Hall of Fame career. I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, was a look. <laughs> Probably. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But I know like a lot of that part of that is statistical. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So You had to sacrifice a lot to come off the bat. Yeah, I mean I did it I did it for that, for these things. Yeah. hmm How big a part of that was 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 Phil being the one He, you had, know, he came with me with that bullshit. And but he was like, would you have been able to take that if it wasn't for somebody like as established as Phil? Nah, I mean because it's Phil Jackson, B. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So you're right. You come in with that little. What did Kobe little, say about that game? I mean, <laughs> what did Kobe say about it? He gonna G me too. <laughs> God bless him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know we need this for the team. Be stronger. Come off the bench. Uh, yeah. Gonna give me the old analyticals of yeah. Me, him, and Drew. You know what I'm saying? Game pal. Yeah. I mean, you know, but it were you- it was a. I took it as good as I could, though. Like, you know, I took it. But when you won a championship, that's I said. That's what it's how, for. How did it? How did it feel? It was val. It was validated. Hmm. That's what I did it for us. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I was, bro. Because I, you know, when when I when I go through the season, I play. I replay the season. And the, that, that first season in the back of my head, I, I finished the games all the time. Yeah. When it was clutch time, you. You know what I'm saying? Game. So you know how your coach could be like. Good G, you be like, yo, yeah. don't worry about who start, you gonna finish. I know, that's telling us with the Clippers, remember that? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, like, okay, you didn't lie to me. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I can remember at the end of the first championship, Orlando, I was on the court jumping with my man, you know. I just know how, man, happy I was for you because us coming into the league, playing with you, I played with you two years. Yeah. You played with you three years, right? Yeah. Three years. To see you win that championship, man, I was so proud and happy for you, bro. Right up. That's what's so crazy yeah, about right it. Like up. when you when you do things like that, you don't, you know, you you realize, you know, how many people like you doing it for. Yeah. Because you people? just know the next man you come up with, you know how hard it is to just get that or get in position. Cause you know, it ain't always controlled by you what team you play for, or who you play with and let How the dice something. roll with you, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I f consider myself a real one, you know. At this point in my life, I don't lead by example, but as you know, growing up, I'm a, I'm just learning, you know, who to follow. Yeah. Like you're saying, like, I'm like, yo, this dude right here, he's it. Yeah. He got the halo around him, you know what I mean? <laughs> right. Like, yeah. he's the one, his aura is glowing. Like. Motherfucker hit nine game winners one season, bro. Yeah. Yeah, like, you played basketball your whole life, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I ain't hit nine game winners my whole life. That's what I was trying <laughs> to say. <laughs> no. That's what I was trying you said to say. One season, right I ain't did that my whole life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, tell, tell, tell me what would like when he like what was he like coming in the game in the locker room after those some of those game winners? Like tell me I didn't hear from C B from Earth, like some of the isms he hit you with, like <laughs> I don't really think he lo he like lost like really like game focus until he probably like on the plane. So he putting clothes on, <laughs> taking shower, yeah, locking like in. Still, yeah, yeah, because y'all know how it is when you finish a game. Yeah, you know. If so, you, if you hit a game winner, of course you're gonna feel some relief. Yeah, you know what I mean. But his shit is still like, <laughs> and it's sold out pack arenas everywhere y'all go. And he locked in, laser focused. And I seen some people do some like some. Weird, rude shit to try to break his focus. Right, and he ain't rolling. How was it when you when you got Ron Ron on the team when Ron Ron was coming to the Lakers? <laughs> How was that for? Cause you know you've been yeah, knowing I, him I, since you've been. Yeah, I remember I told Ron I was like, "Yo, come on, like, just it's gonna be easy. Like, we got <laughs> like, we got Pal playing with me, and then we got Bean, mm -hmm. like." I, but I know Ron, I know how much he loved the game, what he put in for the game, his sacrifice for the right, game, yeah. where he's from. Like, you know, for us to, you know, play at this level and win again, like how could you not want that for yourself, for your legacy? Yeah. So how did you feel easy. when Ron shot the shot the three? <laughs> Nigga, you bugging. <laughs> you what? thought he was bugging? <laughs> oh no, the one that Kobe passed it to him yeah. or the one against Phoenix when he- Nah, the one he made when Kobe oh, passed yeah, it to nah. him. It's so crazy, I thought, I thought he was gonna swing it one more to me. I was in the corner, wait. So I was like this, waiting for it. But then you know, Ron got hard, <laughs> so he feel like he can make same mm -hmm. shots Kobe makes, same shots I make, same <laughs> shots Powell make. You know what I mean? He um he got hard. He showed it that he ain't, he wasn't even passed that shot up. Money that thing. But for us, I mean, it's coming from playing AAU together. And then we got a chance to win a, a NBA championship together. That's like, that's movie making material. Y'all first one, y'all beat Orlando pretty handily, easy. But what was it? I mean, obviously that's the first one that was historic. But what was it like to be in that series against the, you know, you the Lakers and the Celtics in the finals, and you you win that? Like, what was uh, you that watched this growing historical up. like that? Like, what was that like to be in that, a part of that? That was nervous, like. Every game, right? Every game. Y'all went, like, went seven games. Had to win two the series. game seven. Yeah. Now the second game, set first series is why I hate the Celtics. Cause, <laughs> not real rap, cause you know, they beat us by like 35 mm. in game six. Right. And um, you know, when you go to the finals, you got your family on the bus, everybody on the, yeah. on the bus and all that. They beat us by 35, these fans, Surrounded our bus and started shaking it. Damn. Mm. After they With your the families day. and everything? They, they didn't care. Well, heard the mother, <laughs> yeah, but everybody the on the bus. And wilding. All that. That's why <laughs> you hate the riot. You know yeah. what I mean? 
I'm like, what about we the one? Right. Yeah. Really could have got ugly. So that made me like really like I don't really. And we rocked them Celtics. Nah. <laughs> nah. And that's all due to their fans because they, you know, they got two, two amazing um, basketball players over there right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where I don't care, you know, who you like or what you don't like, you can't really hate on talent. Yeah. You'd Straight be up. Stupid to do that, right? Yeah. They got some two bad motherfuckers over there. Yes, sir. What was it like to be part of the championship parade? Like the that was the a, whole town come out, y'all, you know, going on the on that the, was like out of body experience, right? You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like Lake probably Brett. something I'll never forget. Like the opening ceremony for the Olympics, mm-hmm. like oh shit, like almost right. overwhelming, right? Yeah. For the human being that's. <laughs> Like when y'all got take to this- it, you know what I mean? That's in that spot. It was like, oh my god, like yeah. we athletes, you know what I'm saying? So if somebody's a parade for you, it's like almost you in heaven, really. Word. For that hour, you know what I mean? Yeah. And like, how is it when y'all up on the stage with the title, with the trophies, and y'all looking off into the sea, and all yeah. the people I mean, going crazy? See a hundred thousand people right. going yeah. nuts, it's, and y'all just up on the stage like that's like king like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Especially. I mean, y'all know how in LA. In a place like LA. Y'all know how saying, LA in a place works. like LA. You feel what I'm saying? And you the Lakers and this. Yeah, so like it's y'all like doing it again. People, you know, remind me of them back-to-back chips like it just happened. Right. Still daily. You know what I mean? Like, but, you know, there's a lot of pride in the city. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we playing in a, in, in a you know, uh, the home of entertainers. And people really appreciate when you entertain them and did a great job. Right. Especially with their names across your yeah, sure. chest. And all yeah. that. When you representing them. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? They got different right. pride. So the city come out crazy. And, you know, I play for the Clippers and the Lakers. Yeah. So for me, it's like a little. Double. double yeah. Double love. Yeah. How was it to play in a, like, basically a sold out arena everywhere you play for about how many years you was with the Lakers? Like seven, I'm talking about like, like eight years, eight years straight. Yeah. Like everywhere the Lakers went and played, every arena, no matter what it was, that was a sold out game. But that's why, like, when it when it come to basketball, you know, a lot of people like may argue. Let's keep it real. Dallas, they like known as because Amer- football, America's team. Mm-hmm. Like I mean, basketball wise, I think Lakers is like America's team. Yeah, because you got to think about it, eighties. Who was you gonna catch on TV? Yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Then Kobe, yeah. TV. Even when the games used to just come on channel four. Cause everybody don't get that. You know, we Nah, we, it's a it's a it's a um then you playing with a superstar. Hey, listen. It's a it's a um it's probably one up. Really, if you if every game could feel like a home game. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like, like, yeah, like real talk. Real right, you know, what you mean? go and, places and they scream, they yeah. scream and late. And you just said something else is real because every player don't get the opportunity to play with a superstar. And yeah. You play with like a yeah, a uber star, like but you know what I'm saying, like just because you know, y'all know superstar it's part. Really, really good players, and then it's you know that's what I'm saying, superstars. Yeah, exactly. You feel and everybody me? don't get a chance. Like I felt like when when I played with when I got with Steve Nash, I was like, oh shit, yeah. like. Playing with Kobe, that's a whole nother planet of it in itself. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's bigger than any regular superstar period. But like, that's crazy. How was it being a Laker? Like you one of the most famous Lakers out there. Like how does it well, be a part of their brand and with Magic and Kobe and Shaq and Wordy Lamar? You know, yeah, it's be part of that fraternity. Yeah, not not to be um, not a detrimental way, but it's you know it's Hollywood. Yeah. Word. Word. Everything. And it's so crazy because we got the I got to experience it first with y'all, but like looking across the hall. Yeah. Like, Cause remember the, yeah, like I wonder <laughs> how we used to be one of them. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Word. They were the champs when we was there, right? Yeah, remember? yeah, yeah they won the championship. Three yeah. Backs. And then and then they, you know, to for it to come full circle. Full, work, full circle, you know. I don't know. I think it was probably one of the reasons why I was able to it was even able to adapt um, so fast. And so I've, I've been in LA since I was 19. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's really all I know. 
Yeah. I might run for governor one day. I'll just be- <laughs> <laughs> How was it in, in in eleven when you got the six man of the year? Did that like kind of kind of make you feel like okay, like yeah. outside of the championships, like there is some type of individual you know situation in this where you get some type of love for it? For me, it was that was you know my healthy selfish. Right, exactly. <laughs> feel what I'm saying? Exactly. Like yeah. if I could be like, yeah, you know, I was yeah, I'm this best six man in the NBA. Yeah. Feel me? And I look at. You know, and it's so crazy because, you know, I look at that position and, and like, judge it now. Like, I'm the best six man ever. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? But. Oh, we need to put that to the top. Yeah. I mean, when I look at it, <laughs> because that year, like, I was defending. Crazy. And I, I credit that year to I played in the um, World Championships. Yeah, oh, USA. USA. I, never, I never took that. Chill time. Yeah. yeah. He was up. He was on. Feel me? Yeah. So that's why I'm looking at um, USA today, a uh, USA playing today. I could tell you who going to come out killing. Hey, listen, we always say that too. You already know. I that man t- about to go Ooh. crazy. <laughs> he about to. He might go nice this season. He might be the one. Hey, he and one the of them ones for sure. What? At the Evers? He one of them ones. Yeah. For sure. So Young not, boy, if he, he, if he, 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 boy, if he, he loving, he different. Like he, he showing it, and he's got that work ethic. He might be the one, cause you got he could put on the floor. Yeah. He could shift you. Yeah, and he got the geezer. But then he Dump. got that one dribble on top of your head. <laughs> one dribble, you don't even know what's happening. Oh my god! Yeah, he can go through. So he can go through you, around you, over, over you, you yeah. and shoot it. Yeah, and he don't look. Like, ooh. How about your U.S. opportunity when they asked you to play for the U.S.? I was that was like a dream come true for I me. I already know. Uh, Cause you know, gold. I was like, yeah, like, yeah. like I thought we was gonna win the gold too, the 2004. Yeah, like, and being that's why you was a part Steph, of that team. Yeah, AI, LeBron. Yeah, D Melo, D Wade, Sean Marion, D Wade. But we, there was some things behind it. <laughs> 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 I don't know what it was like. Don't y'all love us? <laughs> yeah. Don't y'all want us to win? It's kind of yeah. weird. The mm-hmm. atmosphere. Like, how was it to come back though in 2010 and get that opportunity and then like really like win gold on that level? Like, bro, you want like you know like you got I don't gold think medals, we really bro. like that's a gold KD, medal. Bitch. You did it on the senior level. KD bro. say like, KD can't. <laughs> KD, what what? <laughs> Young kid came sure. too. <laughs> you know and 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 what you thought when you saw him play with us? Or just when you serious. just saw him. When he was coming up, I was saying to myself, I think you doing a good job at being a 6'9", 6'10", player with that whoop wop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With that different type of, and it's yeah. Yeah. circulating he around these other players. Yeah, he, you know, know what I mean? Yeah, he he really had a jumper. Yeah, he, he got the geezer. He got boy. the That's geezer. What, <laughs> you know what I mean? So it was like. And he lift up though. Like yeah. I had to guard this dude, bro. Try to get strong with him. As soon as he get to his spot, and he nah. lift up I'm at waist you level. Can't, you can't, you can't, <laughs> guard, you can't guard no geezer. You can't guard no geezer. Mm-mm. All you know from from playing with the Miami Heat, all you got close out the airspace mm-hmm. and hope that you know that you that was enough. Hey. So when you won the gold medal. But when he won the gold medal, how he, came, how he pulled the <laughs> like when he go he, the gold, he was ISO in an international play. <laughs> Cookie. Pop pop. Pop pop. Pop pop. You know that crossover? He go pop pop. pop, mm-hmm. pop. He was cooking them. Over and over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> and we won on um, we won that gold medal. Check this. We won a gold medal against Turkey. Mm-hmm. On September 11th. That's against Turk now. <laughs> Turk glue. Mm. They booed our national anthem. That was a mistake. <laughs> Y'all came out on fire. Huh? You know, yeah, you know, I'm a. Y'all gonna let them boo our national anthem? <laughs> uh-huh. I put a battery in all of our back. <laughs> we we torched them though. That was a good a, a, a good um a good tournament though. That's how I know Ant Man gonna come back killing. Him and, him and Bridges going to start off. But Minnesota going to have to run. They going to have to run their offense through Ant-Man now. Oh, no. Nah, that's a, that's that got to yeah. be automatic. It got to be a fact. 
That's, that's, that you know who you know who else dog who I'm a huge fan of that boy Halliburton Cole Tyrese Halliburton he is cold he's got the ugly geese bro. I don't it, wet. it was it wet go yesterday in. you see how he came back it was wet, that man. Yeah, we were, he hit the first two we was losing we was losing I watched like, off the two ha 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 we was losing I say, bro, I say, look, he talking crazy. <laughs> he and the Ant Man, they it. both went crazy in a little stretch, bro. Ugly geek. <laughs> hey, what you think about like today's game when you see a lot of U's out there? You see a lot of U's, like a lot of guys just six nine dribbling the ball. Like I mean, playing the way you play, like they versatile. Like, they can do everything. That's kind of you uh, one of them prototypes. Yeah, that's Both a of y'all are. yeah. We are. I was. It's a compliment for how I played the game, and I guess what I wanted to do. Look you know fun I mean? out there, bro. Yeah, just you know, play a guard's game at my size. Ooh. You feel me? Like Irvin used to do. Yeah. You feel me? Um, I think I, I think that's what made us like, like especially in hindsight, we did so many of these interviews and listened to so many different dudes who played in our era. Like, man, I, w- I wish we could have played how y'all was playing. Like, and this, we wasn't even winning, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we, but, but like, nobody couldn't say that we wasn't having so much damn fun out there. And like, I credit that to you, because if you look at our team, the way our team was made up, like, y'all was two probably the best, the most talented dudes on the team, but what made it work was y'all was both the two most unselfish dudes, because me and Corey was going to get the chicken. Yeah. <laughs> you already know. Nah, we was, we was bumping heads get like pit bulls, because we was trying to go get the chicken. Yeah, so it was like, was if, just we had, so all if y'all around, was yeah. doing the same thing, it would have been wild. Like, you was out there just like, I'm magic, I'm nice, I'm out here finger Q, rolling, Q, Q, Q on the box, calling for it. I'm the smartest dude here, and I'm like, I want the box. And he got a power of forward on him, he waving all the rock off the box, calling for that shit. <laughs> and he but, got a power forward. But <laughs> he don't that bitch on the box. But it's so Straight crazy. Up. I remember I was a. It's so. But you know what? It's funny with Q, especially with me, because I remember honestly being in Rhode at Rhode Island watching you play against Cincinnati. <laughs> I don't know. Your number had like some crazy numbers. I'm like six five. He got eighteen <laughs> rebounds. <laughs> Cincinnati is dumb big. I played against Cincinnati, my guy. Yeah, them boy dumb big athletes. T-Man stronger than motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, they stronger than any NBA team. <laughs> you can find. I ain't like, never played against an NBA team bullshit. that physical. Yeah. From their point guard to their center. Yeah. Physical was, I was like, I, so I looked up to you after I seen you bust their ass. <laughs> yeah, you I had problems against, against them dudes. I only had like three points against them. Straight up. Couldn't boy. not get off. Hey, when you start seeing people, you start seeing us do this and seeing other people doing it, what you was thinking about how it was, how it was going? We got them. <laughs> <laughs> we got them. I'm like, damn, I got some help. Yeah. yeah. You feel me? Because everybody needs, you know, when you're playing ball, you know, you, you you always, you know, you need some help. Yeah, can't do nothing by yourself. Straight and up. we in LA, and I'm, you know, it was good to like share the light. Yeah, you feel but, what I'm saying? Let me just say this though to the world, like, because this is always the funniest thing about that was about us. Like, we played, you was in LA two years, we played three, and we hung out all the time. Mm-hmm. Not one. The biggest restaurant we went to was what? Bruce Chris or Cheesecake Factory? All the time. Did we, we we went to Cheesecake Factory before the games. That was that was twenty four seven. You get the salmon, yeah. with the bow tie and the, the broccoli with the salmon yeah. and, and pasta, pop, pasta. Fettuccine Alfredo with the bow tie pasta. There you go. Yeah, the thing that's right. crazy is like none of us really indulged in the bigger part of LA. Like, you know what I'm saying? We was really hooding it. We didn't go to none of the, the, the big time restaurants until we got on other teams and came back to visit LA. But, you know, we were young. Too young. And we was, we was hood. turning around. Like, we was hood. All those from the hood. Like, before I came to the Clippers. Oh, it was reckless. Them dudes ain't even go to the club. Yeah. Cause they was like scared. They didn't even like, want to show face like that. We was in Fox Hills malls, getting haircuts, hanging yeah. out, just being visible and, and, and touchable by the regular people. Like, they, you know what I'm saying? We used to be. But that's what made our team, you know, our team was because people were, were relatable. Yeah. You feel me? You remember us uh, busting y'all last in the rookie and sophomore game? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. What rookie sophomore game? You remember what, what rookie, rookie sophomore, sophomore game? game? The All Star game, the NBA, NBA rookie nah. sophomore game. Yeah, you we came that? in running track stars through y'all shit. Nah. But y'all wasn't even. Who played for us? It was you, Elton, BD, BD, Steve, Steve Francis. Yeah, had squad though. Yeah, y'all had a cool <laughs> little squad, but we ain't, you know. Y'all bust our ass? Yeah, bust our ass. But we probably we had one year already in the league. Yeah, y'all was too swag. Yeah. Y'all yeah. was too swag. And them games. If y'all playing hard and we playing it's swag over. out, it's you know, know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, though. you know what I mean? It's like, you know we play hard. Yeah, y'all got them them young athletic boys. Yeah. Y'all ain't got no years and y'all ain't got no miles on y'all yet. You know, I'm going to get all the free points, the trash points that people think ain't sexy. I'm going to get a quick tip in and run mm -hmm. by. You don't even know. I got to let them before you know it. I'm oh. throwing lobs and, and all that stuff. Y'all was that? showing off? Yeah, yeah we were doing all that now. I was throwing lobs to them. Where was it at? Where was it at? D.C.? DC? No, yeah, it was. Then we stand all stand on the same floor. You know I remember, remember DC yeah. Live though. <laughs> you know, I remember the nightlife. You know, I remember DC Live though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I remember DC Live though. Because yeah. that's where we went. Word. Cause I remember Steve Francis and DC Live popping bottles. Real. He was at home. Word. DMV. Mm -hmm. You do you remember all of us did the movie? Van Wilder. Van Wilder. You remember we did the it's, movie? It's and kind we, of like a cult classic now, bro. We get a lot, a lot of love. A lot that of love movie, for that, bro. right? <laughs> Hell yeah, I remember that. Nah, that was that was that was that was a, you know that was a dope little movie experience. We all had our little lines in there in the little locker room mm -hmm. hooping. Shout out Ryan Reynolds, he big time now. Yeah, he's, that boy was super big time now. Yeah, he definitely ain't that same Ryan Reynolds. Do you remember you and Entourage? Yeah, Entourage. You already know that's like one of my all-time favorite shows. So when I saw you on there, I was super hyped. I was geeked for you, but yeah. I didn't agree with the purpose for you being on there. Johnny Drama talking about your calves. Like, yeah, you didn't I got no really, calf muscles yeah. on here. Like, you were supposed to tell him, like, yeah. yo, you got to do something different for I me, son. Like, I ain't really <laughs> understand the lines and all of that. I just know Entourage is a big show. Johnny Drama was so trying like, to check out his calves. He's like, yo, your brother's my, weird, bro. Yeah, your brother's weird, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't really understand the line. I just know Entourage at the time was a, was a big show. I'll never forget when I saw it. I say, yo, hello, yeah. Entourage. But Johnny Entourage. Drama was talking about your calves. That was, it was in class. I think Entourage way was just hilarious. Who stick out to you that was that you grew up with that was nice at basketball that didn't make it that you thought was gonna make it all the way to the NBA? Oh, it's this dude named um, his name is Raheem Johnson. Mm -hmm. Raheem is um, related to Kenny Smith mm -hmm. through marriage. Mm -hmm. mm. Raheem went to Christ the King. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Christ the King, you got to play freshman basketball. You got to play freshman. You got to play freshman. Mm -hmm. Raheem didn't play freshman. <laughs> <laughs> you like, nah. <laughs> nah. Raheem played, went straight to JV. Our freshman team would have been too heavy if he had played with me, Eric Barkley, EV. Um, Kamal McQueen. You yes. know what I'm saying? So, like, he, Raheem, I'm going to be honest with you. Eighth grade, ninth grade. Ain't a game we played and he ain't get 25, 30. Yeah. <laughs> 40s on the regular. He was like that. Word, lefty. Yeah. He was getting it like Barkley. How Barkley would be getting it without dunks, though. No dunks. Yeah. No dunks. Mm -hmm. Not athletic at all. Just straight buckets. Like, however you want it. Mm -hmm. You know, soul to soul. You know the soul, soul to soul. Yeah. It's Kenny Smith. He's so he had his handle right because Kenny Vincent Smith raised me, Shaheem, anybody that you know and from New York who had a handle. That's who Vincent Smith it. probably yeah, worked him out. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So he had the handle. It's like six four, six three, big. Hmm. You just knew. You remember what you did to Sham? Through the leg. Yo, you know what's so crazy? Exactly. Exactly. Gotcha. But who I got that from you? You was, I mean, we was <laughs> in I practice. <laughs> you was telling me how to do it. Yeah. Right. You, you know what that? I mean? It's yeah. funny because you was like, yo, L. I who I do it? I think I did like Katana or, or Steve like that in the Magic game. He was like, like Magic Johnson. He said, I just, I, just, I just throw it and I throw it between his legs. I tap it between his legs. Yeah. And I go. Like, yeah, I throw it and tap it between his legs. To the I was like, yo, I never did that. That was the first time I ever did it, yo. And Brian then was in the gym. Whoa. Yo, that yeah. shit was Dude was crazy pressing me. Then. I was like, he was pressing me. I'm like, okay, I'm trying to like, you know, trying to phone. He pressing me. All right, let me just pull this out. 
Boom. Tap him. Boom. You know and my lady. You know I wish I'd have banged it. You know my favorite part. You know my favorite Hit him with the Meg's joint. Yeah. <laughs> that was his go-to move right there Straight with the L kids. Yeah. <laughs> Hit him with the Meg's joint. You heard. I wish I would have banged it though. Yeah. yeah. It was still, uh, I mean, it made it, that's what made it L.O. Was, right? yeah. was, yeah. the, was the biscuit out of it. Sing a roll. Y'all got the documentary with the 20th anniversary of the blackout game in New York. Talk to me about the possibility? That, yeah, like did you know everybody who was supposed to be on each team and all of that stuff with the you you was on Yeah, with, I ain't I never knew that um Which team was you on? Jay Z team. Jay, I never knew that it was that heavy on either side. Yeah. And it's so crazy, like they making a big deal about this game. Twenty years later. And it never happened. And it like, never, never happened. happened. I supposed to came down there. Who you gonna play for Jay? I supposed to leave with or Cleveland. Fat I supposed to come down there with LeBron now. And play with Jay. But it's just like I'm, you know. Hypothetically, it would have been an ill game. Right. No, not the game. I could imagine the night after the game. <laughs> the whole everything. Was you know what I'm saying? Because everybody was gonna be there. Yeah. But you know, it could have been big. I didn't know Yao Ming was gonna be there. That's like I didn't. It's hard like, to believe. Like Yao Ming. It's hard to believe like, Yao was gonna be at the Rucker. Like, you know what I mean? Like Yao at the Rucker. You know what I mean? But you know, it was getting like that. Yeah. Huh? You, for, you know, cause pride. I know you deep in hip hop and you love the hip hop music. It's hip hop's fiftieth anniversary. Yeah. What you, what do you feel like how hip hop helped you with basketball? Well, hip hop right there, I mean from me, I ain't have no father. Yeah. So I mean as far as how you dress and how you greet your fellow man. Yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. It's everything. But how it gave me the, how it, my game is hip hop because it's authentic. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? From the street. And it's unique. Yeah. And you it's don't see it a lot. What I got, what I was delivering, you ain't see it a lot. I remember when Dynasty and Blueprint came out, how you was pulling up. <laughs> and we saw up. us bumping and up. And we saw, this is how far we go back with it to like when we was really hopping on the plane with the, with the disc CD, scene, with this CD, CD player. You remember that? With the, remember the, remember the portable, remember the portable, the portable DVD players in John's we, we like We come yeah. from the real era where we had the, the big ass. Just think about how we had the, big the, ass book the phone the, that you flipped. Oh, yeah. Next time with the yeah, the Bro, church. You remember we had, the, we had the big ass pads, like the notepads with all of the D CDs and DVDs mm -hmm. in it. Like, who got the biggest collection? The like, this is before like the I Apple iPods even came out. Word. They got the computer. I'm making TV CDs and shit. Like yeah, everything done switched up, right? Crazy. But it switched up for the better. It slimmed down. Yeah. You don't need as much to still have a lot. First, I want to congratulate you and say we salute you with the with the recovery group. Oh, like, with like the how did you how did you get into that and get like I seen you got several multiple of them going. Like how did you yeah, get well, those going? Yeah, y'all know I used to get it in, <laughs> but when we was playing ball, you know, I ain't start my cocaine use mm -hmm. yeah. at that. You know what I mean? And then I used to see this show always on TV, the Bunny Ranch joint. Yeah, I said, yo, I'm gonna go there, get to the place. I'm mad tight. I don't have no cocaine to take with me. Mm -hmm. Darius Miles, you feel me? I'm tight, I didn't have cocaine to take with me. Get there, I get a dude $75,000. Mm -hmm. Let's keep this on the low. Yeah. Feel me? I wake up, have a drink. I wake up three days later, they said I'm all past, plastered everywhere that I OD, almost died. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I ain't even do drugs that night. Yeah. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers tried to kill me, B. That's they, all they, you they know. They knew my weakness. And, you know, so I had, you know, when I woke up, they tell me I had 12 strokes and six heart attacks. Yeah. So I'm not even supposed to be here. So, you know. It made you get into the centers. Yeah, so I'm like, after I'm like, it got to be a purpose for me living. That's just scientifically impossible for somebody to have Right, 12 strokes and six heart attacks and be living. So I'm like, must be just give back. Mm -hmm. And had the idea. I went to a, a, um, a rehab on the west side of Chicago. Mm -hmm. Felt my heart because in the west side of Chicago, they ain't have no grocery stores. Mm -hmm. I'm like, how the fuck they ain't have no grocery stores? You feel me? Like the, the, rehab is feeding, the rehab is feeding the people. Right. So I'm like, I got to get. I'd have had 12 strokes, six heart attacks. Uh, and I'm a, 
admitted drug addict mm-hmm. on a night that I didn't have, that I didn't even take drugs. Yeah. You feel me? I must be here for a reason. And the reason is, I guess, is to help people and help them and give them drugs. I'm just saying, you know, it's been more ODs in the last five to 10 years. It's been more ODs in the last five years than World War One, World War Two, and Vietnam deaths. Yeah. Mm. And now you got this fentanyl shit fentanyl, and all this uh, shit out here. Like, so I just feel like I got the, you know, the platform, the name, and people, you know, know my story enough. Yeah. Nah, we definitely you feel salute what I'm saying? you, bro. Like, yeah. that's, that's some, so that's like you trying say. to have my, you know, have these rehabs all over the place, so. To help you know, people out. Yeah. yeah. Doing something bigger than you. Nah, that's what's up, for yeah. sure. We need more people doing that, you know, because I mean, like I, it is out here now. A lot of people, I think we kind of discard our elderly and our drug addicts. Forget yeah. about them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So never know what somebody going through. You never know. Yeah. Addict don't even know what they're going through at all, especially when you're too deep. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you: uh, if you could pick four other teammates that you play with over your NBA career, who would be them four other teammates? Not, not including the Clippers team, not including your like, any, your teammate. any of your teammates you ever played with. If you could pick four. Players to play with. We don't got to be included Who's just to make it fair. Four? We not me and him not included just to make it fair. I don't want you to feel obligated to say. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> that's a good question. Because you play with a lot. Of, you play with D Wade. You play with Kobe. You play with Powell. Now, I'm you gonna play, say I'm gonna say D Wade. You D Wade. Kobe. Kobe. Powell. Powell. And not including y'all. I'm gonna say you Donis Haslam. You stand mm, up there. OG. Okay. You know what the I'm saying? OG. I like that. I like Get that. some love. I like it. For I real. like that. <laughs> stand up dude. Not when that. I think about when Dallas has him, I think about his last yeah. run with yeah. the Heat. I think about, damn, like how his players look at him. Yeah. Exactly. I know how they look at him. They exactly. respect him. Yeah. Straight up. You feel what I'm saying? They respect what come out of his mouth. Yeah, when he getting on him, you feel me? Telling him what to do. Hundred percent. He's just surreal. he earned it. Yeah, he earned yeah. it. I hope I want to be there when they retire his number. Yeah, statue yeah. all that they got. You yeah. know, what did you splurge when you got that bag and you felt like, yeah, I'm about to go. I'm about to do this. What What did you do? They like did just for you. I ain't talking about taking care of nobody at the family, getting them. I'm talking about something like flashy for you. Car watch, whatever, whatever. Started flying private. Oh. Mm. You, know uh, I mean? uh, you feel me? Different mm. type of flaws. Yeah. <laughs> and, when you start private, flying private? <laughs> shit. Once I got to Miami. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, no. Once I got to Miami. <laughs> shit. You, um, you feel private from LA to Miami? Facts. But that's a that's a um <laughs> you gotta make a lot of money to fly private. You what? definitely you gotta, do. Yeah. Like Shaq just bought a plane for two hundred million or whatever. Hey, listen, big you know, boy shit. Yeah. Um, it's so crazy because you know once you get a certain amount of fame and, and popularity, um, airports become like it's tough. So to get through, you know what I mean? It's just spoiling yourself. Yeah, hmm. you know what I mean? Because ain't too many what? Ain't too many cars or. Watches I can get, you know what I mean? Start bench cut. Uh, no, nah, start bench trade. You gotta start, start one, bench, start. you gotta bench one, you gotta trade one. All right. <laughs> Trace McGrady, Carmelo Anthony, and. Oh. Uh, Stromile Swift. No. <laughs> Grant Hill. <laughs> Trace McGrady. Start bench cut. Start bench cut. Trade. Start bench trade. I'm gonna start McGrady. I'm gonna bench Grand Hill. I'm gonna trade Mello. What did you think, like, from your perspective? Like, when we obviously you was there when the whole knuckleheads and all that started. Like, what did you think, like, when you see, like, damn, these boys got a show. They still getting love out there. Like, what was your perception? Like, I was like, no, when I first seen that y'all was doing a podcast, it was like. I get it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Y'all been high school friends. Yeah. Podcast joint is the wave. Yeah. Y'all got your own story. Yeah. People know y'all for being y'all. Got your own brand. Like, I get it. It's dope. The logo is dope. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but that's come from a, that's a um, you know, y'all being who y'all are, and people identifying with that team so much, Word. and individually, and you know, as a brand. So I mean, I was I was happy. Do you I'm, remember when y'all winning? I'm winning. Yeah. Did you remember when people start just doing their just doing it? Yeah, because when y'all first started doing, I was like. I ain't even get it. Like, <laughs> like, like, that shit went over my head. Like <laughs> it went over my head. But I was like, all right, that's their thing. Yeah. But you know, when you when you when you're doing something different and you're doing good, it's crazy how people could gravitate to it. Yeah. Cause I'm pretty sure people be coming up, just walking up to y'all, going like, yeah. all the time. like to this day, photo, right? Like, to right this now, day. in airports and everything. And let it, I'm telling y'all, ride that way, B. Straight up. You feel me? Well, that's dope, man. Look, man, there's a long time coming, bro. We, we, we. It Hold was up. only right that we no, had to come up and pull up, up and, 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 and chill out with our boy, man. It's day one. We was his rooks, our OG, even though we the same age. It's all love, <laughs> man. It's L. Dot Odom, L. Joseph, Big bro, baby. Man. One love, for it up.